Hey guys, get ready with me, but I've got four minutes. I'll throw. Okay, so once again, stupid me. It's always... Oh my god, I'm literally so annoyed at myself. Every single day, I set my... Well, not every single day, but most days, I set my alarm for 6.45. And then I'm like, yeah, I'm going to get up. I'm going to get up. I'm going to do makeup. That has never happened. That has literally never happened. And I literally... Oh, it's so annoying. Because like I did the other day, I wanted to do like actually like nice makeup today but i can't because i've literally got three minutes i don't even know how i'm gonna be able to do this i'm still doing all my skincare like because i don't i literally don't care i'm so annoyed yet because i literally have no eyebrow gel so my eyebrows just look bad all the time and it's really annoying me i've got literally got two minutes and i haven't started my makeup okay now i'm gonna come with this i'm literally doing every single step i don't care like, I love skincare and I literally, like, I literally look forward to getting ready in the morning for school. Like, not waking up, not brushing my teeth or anything, like, just doing my makeup. I love doing my makeup for school. Is that just me? And I'm going to go in with my other serum. Ooh. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my SPF. I love the smell of this. If you want, a, like, sun cream that smells nice, get Hawaiian Tropic. It literally smells amazing. Now I'm going to go into my Omega Lord Cream. I'm literally supposed to have left. Okay, I'm not going to bother with my Biome Moisturiser because I do it every day, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, next I'm going to be going in with my We Shea Gripping Primer. But with this shade, you need to like let it sit for two minutes for it to wait. So I'm going to have to do that. I probably won't wait for two minutes because like, I'm not that patient. Oh god. But I need to wait, okay. Okay, whilst I was letting it sit, I did my brows. But I actually need to like hurry up. Like, I literally am so late. So, I'm just mixing in these bronzing drops. I promise it gets better. Okay, now I'll go in my e.l.f. Halo Glow. And this, like, kind of lightens it down more because obviously it's a bit dark. And this is quite light. Right now I'm going to do concealer under my eyes. It's literally 8 past 8 and I'm supposed to leave at 8. I'm actually stressing. I've got ages. I don't even know why I'm doing all this makeup. I'm literally so stupid. But, you know, I wanted to. So it's happening. Okay, right now I'm going to go in with this blush. I'm going to use a little bit. I love this shade so much. Literally look how nice that is. I actually love it. Okay, right, then over that, I'm just going to put on the Doll Beauty Cream Blush in shade Let's Get Wavy. <laughs> okay, right, then I'm going to get my NYX stick and use it as highlighter, even though I don't think it's supposed to, but I think it works as a good highlighter, so I'm going to use it. Okay, now I'm going to go in with my Trigwell Cosmetics Powder and the Trigwell Cosmetics massive powder puff right and then quickly i'm just gonna go in with this dull beauty highlight slash like blush thing it's like that it's like so sparkly and i'm just gonna put a little bit there a little bit there now i'm just gonna go in with my 2b tanned lip balm and it's watermelon that smells so good i actually love it okay then i'm just gonna go in with my glow milk mist setting spray Okay, and I'm all done. Thanks for watching. Bye. It's currently 7 a.m. right now, and I'm getting ready to go on a little day out in Goza. So I'm in Malta, if you haven't seen all of my previous videos, and Goza is like a place in Malta, and we're doing a full day on quad bikes, and I'm really excited. So basically, she's going to be in quad bikes, like going around everywhere, and then we stop off at an ocean bit and I think we go in a boat and then we get to jump in the ocean I'm really really excited so I do have my swimming stuff on underneath it's so early right now I just want to go back to sleep <sighs> and there's been this beeping thing going on in our room since like 6 30. I'm actually glad I'm getting ready on the balcony because the aircon in that room is horrible. Like, I like the cold more. Like, I'd rather it be cold than scorching hot. But it's freezing cold in there and the weather out here is so nice. Like, the weather is hot but it isn't too hot to the point where it's just like gross, kind of sweaty hot. It's like 
the perfect hot you could think of and the UV is literally out today. Sunscreen because I don't want to burn. I don't think it's day three and I haven't even been putting sunscreen on my whole body and I actually think I should do that so I don't leave burn. My family is in fact already arguing at 7.30 in the morning so I apologise if you can hear them. I've got this awful spot on the side of my nose so I'm using some pot concealer and I don't know what the logic of using concealer is when I'm gonna jump in the ocean but that's in like a few hours. This covers so well. Basically it's four people one room, two beds for a week. I don't think I'm going to survive this. It's been so lovely here though, and the people here are just so lovely, and the sights are so lovely, and the things to do here are so lovely. Like, this genuinely has been such a nice long day, and I've only been here for one full day. But yesterday, we went to what was it called? Valletta, and we were just like walking around looking at it, which is also lovely. And then we went to like this cannon bit from the World Wars, and they like set the cannons off at like 4 pm, I think it was, and it was so cool. And as a girl who loves history, I thought it was so interesting. Like, I genuinely think that'll be my all time highlight of this whole. So basically, let me turn this down. I got this thing from AliExpress. One of those cool lights. It's literally so cool. I love it. Okay, wait. Now you can actually see it properly. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do my hair getting me like this. Maybe. I'm just... I literally have wanted one of these for so long. It's so cool. Also, this is my last day of braids, guys. I'm taking them out tomorrow. They are really cute and I literally love them. But like... Like I said before, my hair honestly needs a wash. And yeah... Now I'm saying it, I want, like, I love them, but, like, I do need to take them out, so I'm just gonna do it. I love these lights, and, and, oh my gosh, I literally got them for free, literally, AliExpress is so good, like, you can, like, there was a part, I think it's because it's my first time ordering, well, like, on this new account, it's my first time ordering on it, so then, like, it said, buy something, and you get something for free. I can't even remember what I got, let me check, and it was literally, like, 80p, and then I got the light. Oh, I literally got cross for my glasses. I was there looking for ages and there was like nothing that I actually wanted. And then I just got cross for my glasses. But yeah, like 80p and then that for free. That is very good. I've also put this black bow in my hair today. I thought I'd match the black outfit. I'm wearing this white fox track suit. My ordinary lash room. I use this every morning and night now. So yeah, I'm just gonna... I don't even know if this is how you put it on. I just saw a girl on TikTok. She put it on like the front like this and there. I don't even know how to put it on. If I'm putting it on wrong, someone tell me, but. And now I'm going to use my Jisoo lip oil. I'm going to curl my lashes. I'm going to let the serum dry like a little bit. But where are my spoonies? Right. I'm just going to brush my brows up. Okay, I've just curled my lashes. And I'm just going to spray my favourite perfume, the vanilla one, of course. Um, let me just turn this up. No, oh no, I hit the reverse. But yeah, I'm ready, so bye guys. Hey guys, get ready with me for the day. My hair's currently looking like a rat nest and I'm not really having it. Knowing me, as soon as I do this get ready with me, I might film some TikToks, I don't know, depending if I look like a caca ball. But if I don't, then I'll say this outfit probably. If I do, then I'll probably just curl up in my pyjamas and play baddies all day. Oh my god, guys, last night I had a sleepover with Rosie. And basically, we played this game. Well, basically, she played the game because I joined. And I'm I'm too scared of horror games. Like, I know they're not real. The jump scares is just not for me. I can't. I can watch horror movies, but I can't play games. Like, I don't know why I just can't touch the screen. It Like, it physically, like, I can't. Oh, I don't know what it's called. I forgot, but, like, it's like, um, what's it called? There's, like cafe those like american old like cafes you see like in the middle of nowhere and then like people just keep coming and the music's just scary and then like there's this man chasing you with something it's just not for me i'm too scared but today i don't think i'm doing anything which is quite boring actually i actually that is a lie i need to film some content also how nice is this like top from pixie so cute i like folded it in though because like so it's like more cropped. 
but yeah i love it it's so like i've never seen like anyone wear it before i haven't done like my normal makeup routine in ages so today i'm gonna do it because i just like miss it because recently i've been looking like a weirdo because i haven't been wearing like a lot of makeup or i've just been wearing no makeup well i've always wear mascara you can never not catch me wearing mascara not for a while. guys this is like never this has never happened before but i genuinely don't know what to talk about and it's kind of like stressing me out oh basically yesterday both threw up like what she threw up um well actually i don't know if she threw up because i wasn't there but apparently she did um but they didn't know if she pooed or if it was it not gonna lie it was like really gross but bless by but guys i really want to like I don't know, like, get, like, Charlotte Tilbury makeup. Because I don't own one thing from Charlotte Tilbury. Like, I've only got this, which is the dupe. And it's not even the Charlotte Tilbury. So, yeah. I tried the Charlotte Tilbury once for a party and I actually really liked it. But if they're basically the same thing, then I don't need to get it. Guys, this combo will make you look like greasy chips. But it's okay, because when the setting powder comes in, that's when it all, like, molds together. Okay, I'm going to quickly wet my beauty blender. I always like to use a mini mirror just to make sure, like, there's no, like, creases or anything. Okay, now I'm obviously going to go in with the beloved Too Faced Concealer. Mine's in shade Porcelain. Also, guys, I just want to say thank you so much for 160k. Like, I'm actually so happy. Guys, I feel like I haven't used my Rare Beauty bronzer in ages, so today we're going to use her. Okay, I'm also going to use my P. Louise bronzer. Ah, okay, I'm gonna use my P. Louise pressed powder. Guys, P. Louise's new lip palettes are actually unreal. They're like lipsticks, but they look so pretty. I also paired it with my lip liner in shade the 411. Guys, trust the process, I haven't wiped away my powder yet, but now I'm gonna use my two mascaras, my Sky High and then my Maybelline. Surreal, they're both from Maybelline. Okay, I just used the cookie highlighter for benefit on my nose and my cheekbones. Now I'm gonna use the Milani setting spray. P. Louise. Bye guys, love you. Mwah. I have a little ad to film today and it's not makeup related, so I thought we could get ready together. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest, I've actually already filmed this ad. But I need to amend a little clip because I said something a bit wrong. My fault, I got a bit mixed up. <laughs> but it basically means I need to make myself look exactly the same as I did when I filmed it. <laughs> so that is the aim of the game today. I'm just putting some of the L'Oreal um, True Match like tinted serum on. I didn't actually use this the other day when I filmed the ad, but I just really want to use it today. Because I honestly haven't used this in so long and I got a new one because my other one is definitely expired. It's so old. So I got a new one and I just really wanted to to use it this is the shade light medium i see why people rave about that all the time oh my god i love i'm using oh <laughs> i'm using an actual beauty blender for the first time ever i've never had an actual beauty blender this comes in shan's little plt like beauty box which is literally amazing because this is like this alone is more expensive than the actual box which is so cool so that's why i have this because not gonna lie i couldn't justify spending that much on a sponge that's why i've never had one but i am actually really excited to finally have one not gonna lie i can't remember the products i used the other day to get ready so i'm just winging it and hoping it looks the same i'm just using the lancome concealer and to conceal my spots i'm working it into a dense brush and patting it over them i think i'm actually going to pop around my nans as well after i filmed and edited which would be so nice i just used the lancome care and glow concealer in a darker shade to bronze up Right, I have absolutely no idea what blush I used. Oh, I just put that in the bronzer. I did not mean to do that. But this Charlotte Tilbury one's on my desk, so I'm going to guess it was this one. This is the Beauty Light one in the shade Pink Gasm. I have been using this one quite a lot recently, so I'm guessing it's this. I've just realised I'm going to have to try and get the camera angle exactly the same as well. I don't know how I'm going to do that. <laughs> I'm just setting all my concealer in place with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. And I actually trod on it the other day. Love that. Yes, it was on the floor because I am a messy girl. As much as I hate to admit it, I just can't keep anything tidy. So somehow makeup ends up on the floor and I trod on it. I want a little bit more coverage on my spots. So I'm just taking my Maybelline um, Superstay Powder Foundation and on a tiny little eyeshadow brush, just dotting that over my spots. I don't think these spots were there when I filmed the other clips. So I've definitely got to try and hide them. <laughs> One thing I do remember using is this YSL bronzer. So obviously going to use that again today. I'm going to use it on this big fan brush from Morphe and just like really gently pat that around my face. I definitely use this bronzer as a little bit of eyeshadow as well. So I'm just going to take that on a fluffy brush and put it on my eyelids. Okay, I'm pretty sure I also use this blush. It's the Beauty Crop Glow Milk Blush in the shade Peach Blossom. So I'm just going to take a fluffy brush and dust a little bit of that on my cheeks as well that blush is literally so pretty but i'm not gonna lie i don't think it was that vivid in that video so i'm just gonna go over with a little bit of powder again just to like mute it a little bit i feel like that's a little bit better right <laughs> buzz wanted to say hi you sit on my lap just take my elf brow gel to brush my brows up a little bit i'm gonna spritz everything in place with the elf stay all night mist thing whatever it's called stay all night microphone setting mist 
And then for mascara, I'm gonna use one of my faves. It's actually completely rubbed off the name because I use it so often, but I do have another one. So this is the Clinique High Impact High Fight Full Volume Mascara. I absolutely love this one. And then last but not least for lips, I definitely use this lip liner from Kozas and it's the shade Max. It's very like natural. You can hardly see it to be honest and it doesn't suit me that much, but I used it so I've got to use it again. And then for gloss, I actually used two because I wanted a little bit of red, but not too much. And this is quite pigmented. So I put more of a clear one on. This is the Rimmel Three uh, Thrill Seeker. Then I just put a little bit of this NYX fat oil on just for a little red tint. This is the shade mist call and that kind of like balances out how light the lip liner is makes it look a little bit better okay i think that's the closest we're gonna get to the makeup looking the same and my hair i literally just left down so just gonna smooth out a little bit luckily i first filmed it after i got my nails done so i have got the same nails <laughs> because otherwise it would be very noticeable if my nails were different anyways that is me already thank you so much for watching i love you so much and i'll see you soon bye I have a bone to pick with you all. We need to stop getting the talking stage and dating confused. Like some of you have been seeing a guy for eight months and you still say you're talking. You might not be boyfriend and girlfriend, but if you've been going out for like months and you do a couple activities together, then you're dating. You're not on the talking stage. Talking stage is supposed to be that stage like before the date happens. Like if you meet somewhere, but you still need to get to know each other better, that stage of getting to know each other is the talking stage because you're talking. Genuinely, I think we've lost the plot so much. I never hear somebody say like, oh, I'm dating this guy. It's either I'm talking to this person or they're my boyfriend here's the thing that's stupid about calling dating talking talking stage can last anywhere from weeks to months like i just find that absolutely insane that there's this stage that has no like end date to it i'm about to tell you an unpopular opinion but it's the truth so hate on me if you want if you're in this talking stage for over a month and there's no sign of like exclusivity they're probably never gonna become your boyfriend like i've been in talking stages and i don't think it ever lasted longer than a month because when you get to that point where where it's a month of you talking to each other, you pretty much already know if you want that person to be your boyfriend or girlfriend. So if you're in a talking stage, it's like six months long. I'm not saying it's absolutely impossible that they'll never be your boyfriend, but I do think that it's pretty unlikely. Like I know we always try to like read into people's actions and be like, what they mean by this, what they mean by that. But at the end of the day, I actually think humans are quite simple. If somebody likes you and they wanna spend time with you, then they'll probably wanna be exclusive with you because they don't wanna risk on like losing out, you know? Know. If somebody's being wishy-washy with you and not giving you straightforward answers, it's probably because they feel unsure about you and you shouldn't have to prove yourself to somebody. Because the thing about these long-term talking stages, I've personally never seen one work out. So you're usually committing like at least three months of your life to this person and you treat them like a boyfriend for the most part, but they never actually become your boyfriend. So then you just wasted a ton of your time and energy. And it's not like we have a lot of that going around, you know? Oh my gosh, I'm messing up my makeup today, this blush. I always forget it's so pigmented. I don't know if makeup artists would recommend this hack, but when I apply too much blush, I just put setting powder on top of it and it usually fixes it. <laughs> Anyways, I know that not everyone agrees with me. I know some people that are actually like okay with being in this like limbo talking stage. Like they don't really like the commitment, but if you're somebody who who wants to be in a relationship you like to have that like reassurance and commitment and honestly just walk as soon as they start to show like any hesitation towards you okay i got this new lip liner the maybelline dusty rose it's supposed to be a dupe for the charlotte tilbury pillow talk it looks pretty similar oh my god i didn't press record when i put it on but it glides on really smoothly i think it kind of is a dupe now i have and then I have this Maybelline lip gloss in the shade Moon. That is so pretty. Guys, the drugstore has so many good finds. Like, I don't understand the girls that refuse to use drugstore makeup. The drugstore has so much good stuff. Okay, that's all for today. Bye, guys. Ready with me while I answer questions I get asked all the time as an FS worker and a little about me as well. I'm only using this recovery gel and sunscreen on my face at the moment. No actives for five days because of Morphe SA. I'm a little annoyed because I took my ex jet boating yesterday for his birthday and I feel like my face got a bit burnt. And I slapped on that sunscreen too. Anyway, I'll start with what work I've had done because that seemed to be a common question in my last video. So I had a botched BBL done in Turkey about two and a half years ago. They took random chunks like out of my body and put it in to my butt like it was not even at all I swear to god i nearly died from that trip got that fixed by another doctor and i am so happy with the results now i've also had a filler in my lips and then just a bit of botox around my eyes and my forehead i don't really get too much done otherwise i get like a random shelf like under my eyes and i just look like 
almost like uncanny valley just try to focus more on getting like skin treatments like needling done rather than relying on botox but yeah if i was gonna get more work done i'd probably just get some more lipo and i know people are gonna say why don't you just lose weight and no i don't want to lose my bbl because that'll be the first thing to go if i lose weight Hey baby, what you doing? How do I sleep with unattractive clients? I honestly just go into my own head a lot of the time. I'm thinking, what's for dinner or what I've got to do the next day? Like, I am anywhere but there. I've just learned to dissociate from sleeping with men. A lot of people say, I don't know how you could do that. Like, I could never do that. But it's just like any other job. Like, no one loves their job. We just learn to get through. This recovery gel has made my face so dewy. Like, I cannot even put powder on it. Like, it's just seeping through. Aren't you worried about getting STIs, HIV, that kind of stuff? Firstly, that's just a risk you take when you sleep with people, but I use protection. Just from filming for like the last few years, I've just learned to get tested regularly. I don't require my clients to be tested, but I get tested at least once a month. I would earn a lot more money if I offered natural, but it's just not the risk I'm willing to take. Is Mr. S Girthmaster? <laughs> Not Girthmaster, he's about 10 years older than Girthmaster. <laughs> he gets the name Mr. S because I told him that he looked like Mr. Sheffield from The Nanny when I was drunk and in bed with him. I think I was kind of meant to say Mr. Big from Sex and the City because he kind of fits that description more. Anyway, he booked me once and I was very much attracted to him. So we still have fun every now and again. And he's taking me on a holiday soon. Have you been with any celebs? I would love more than anything to tell you guys about these stories, but they're all signed under NDA, so I can't. The girl that literally saw the same guy as me, like, blasted it all over her stories, and then she got sued for several million. Like, it sucks keeping that a secret, but, I mean, it's just not worth it for, like, a bit of clout. <laughs> what was the most you've ever made in an hour? It was actually half an hour, and it was 15k. It was for backdoor, though, so fair. I'm not doing that shit for anything less. I've only ever had two people book me for it because no one can afford that. Is S work legal here? It is so freaking legal here, it's not even funny. In Queensland specifically, S work is all decriminalized in Queensland. It's actually illegal for businesses to discriminate you because you're an S worker. Say, for instance, an S worker puts in her rental application, she hands through her pay slips, and they say, no, like, we're not gonna give this to you because of the work you do. That's legal banks like shutting down your accounts because of what you do like that's legal too there's only a few states in australia where it is illegal but they'll catch up hey guys get ready with me okay so i'm just going to house. i'm not really gonna do much just light makeup because i just feel like putting makeup on okay guys my light died so anyways um i'm just doing some skincare i don't know what makeup i'm gonna do i'm probably just gonna do like contour and concealer. Anyways, guys, I get my nails done on a Monday. I'm so excited. I literally just like these nails remind me of the fact that I got them done specifically for volleyball, so, so that I wouldn't have long nails for volleyball. And I didn't even make the team, so it just reminds me of that. Guys, I don't know where this pebble came from. Guys, oh my gosh, my lashes have grown so much from lash therapy australia and it doesn't irritate my eyes at all if you guys know like how many lash serums i've tried like i tried the babe lash gave me a sty and it was like the worst thing ever and don't even get me started on grande lash like i literally hate it like it grew my lashes but it actually ruined my eyelids like i don't know like my eyelids are so like sensitive now anyways i'm just doing my contour and um this pimple will better go away someday Anyways, I'm just doing some blush. Um, I don't know what's going on with my skin right now, but it's really trying to break out all the time. And I think it's, well, it's obviously from school, but I just hate that the school area is that bad. Okay, now I'm just going to do my mascara and then I'll be done. Anyways, guys, I was about to do my hair and then I realized I didn't bring my spray bottle for water so i literally just wet my hair with water and then put like gel so i didn't even like detangle it or do any kind of routine i literally just wet it and put gel but so it's just kind of like volumey me i don't know how to feel about it guys guys just hot because look at my lashes excuse me what? this is why everybody should use lash therapy, lash therapy australia and it also didn't give me dark circles around my eyes. This isn't even an ad, like I'm just literally telling you guys. Okay, I'm gonna step now. 
Okay, I'm done. Bye, guys. It's game day, and I'm so behind. It's concerning. No, like, it's actually not even funny. I just came back to my dorm after having breakfast and hanging out with my parents and everything, and all the girls in my dorm have their dresses on, like, their makeup, like, they're ready to go. But obviously, I had to sit down and record myself, so maybe that's not helping me on time, but it's okay. Mmm. Good news is I do have my outfit planned for <laughs> today so I can get dressed super quick. But last night was, I don't even know. We went to the concert at 7 because that's what time we thought it was going to start. And he actually didn't come out till 9. So we were just kind of like sitting there. <laughs> but the first opener, like that mustache band, like I think they're like a cover band. That was a little entertaining. But one of Lola's friends ended up leaving and it sent us their tickets that were really close. So we did end up getting like really close to the stage. And I got to see my parents and hang out with them this morning, which just made me so happy. I got to fill them in on my first like week of classes and all that. I'm just excited for the game. Like I've been watching some of the Knoxville game today and I'm like excited to literally watch football. Like... <laughs> I can't wait until we get into like, sorry Furman, bigger name teams. Like I feel like that's going to be so exciting. I'm low-key nervous though. I've never experienced the Grove and all the trapping and everything today is like really intimidating. Okay, wish me luck. I need to dry my hair and put on my clothes and get going. Bye! Get ready with me to tailgate in the swamp. We are taking a trip this morning to Gainesville, Florida. It's University of Miami's first football game this season, and they're playing the Gators. I feel like everyone is going to UF for this game, and I've actually visited UF once when I was touring colleges. So this whole plan started with Braxton and his friends planning to go, and then my friends from college are also going there. The fact that Braxton and I went to the same college is so amazing because we just, we both have the same love for it. The University of Miami, I don't know, there's just something special about it, and honestly... <laughs> Every day, me and my friends are like, I want to go back to college. Like, that was just the best four years of our life. But if I can use this as an excuse today to feel like we're back a little bit, then we're going to do that. And the University of Florida, their stadium, it's called The Swamp, is right on their campus, which I think is so fun. My sister Ashton goes to Tulane, and she said her friends are driving from the game. We have, like, our old guy friends from college going. I feel like everyone from University of Miami now is going, so I'm really excited. I feel like it's going to be, like madness there today apparently they call it the swamp though because it gets like really sweaty and disgusting there so i'm probably gonna sweat off all this makeup i'm gonna have some mimosas on the way there and then go to maybe one of the bars on campus i don't know like if we'll stop by a frat i don't know if that's a bad idea i'm like am i a loser because i'm not in college anymore wait also because i posted on my instagram story that i'm coming to gainesville i got so many dms from frat boys you know like the messages that they send in group me's when you're in college like invites to the parties that are just like a big paragraph that's just filled with like the cheesiest stuff but it gets you so excited they're like sickest party on the row we got babes we got drinks we got a bar my goal of the day is to not embarrass myself or like be up on an elevated surface dancing and i feel like that's just it's bound to happen but i'm really gonna try and contain big al this morning and I'm always excited to see how other schools party. You Miami tailgates were like sweaty tents in the backyard of a frat house. And then trash cans filled up with like ice and water and just like beers and white claws. I'm taking my sweet old time right now. Like I'm not 20 minutes late and I, we gotta go. Come back for the outfit video. Bye. Good morning. It's 6.20 in the morning. Let's go get ready for school. everywhere when I just washed my face. Do you guys know what time it is? Let's go get an energy drink. I need one. It's cold. Today's energy drink of the day. Red and Celsius. Let's take a sip. Very crispy. Exactly how I want to feel in the morning. Now let's fix this rat's nest. Heat protective? Okay. I'm gonna do a magic trick. Vivity vomity boo. Okay, let's do some makeup. 
I am so happy it's Friday. Yesterday, I went to a glam medic event in LA and it was so much fun. Except I did go out of there with my stomach in so much pain because of all the food that I ate. Felt like there were like 50 courses, but all the food was so good. I'm also excited it's Friday because on Sunday I leave for Texas. Y'all, I'm gonna be meeting up with some really exciting people, making some really cool videos, so stay tuned. I've been like breaking out in like the most random spots, like what? I don't know what it is about this brush. It's just, it feels so good since it's so soft. It's like a newer brush. After school, we're gonna go surprise and pick up my little cousins from school. If you know me, you know that my little cousins are legit my favorite people in the whole world. I don't think they know that we're coming, so me and my mom are gonna pick them up and we're gonna go to In-N-Out and Target because that's all they ever want to do. It's so funny, like we pick them up, we're like, you guys can do anything. And all they want to do is go get In-N-Out and then go to Target and pick out a toy. I think that's the cutest thing ever though. And it's fun for me too. I'm picking up Elizabeth this morning and we're gonna go get fall Starbucks drinks. There's something about a fall Starbucks drink in the morning with your friends that just hit. My go-to fall drink has been a brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso, pumpkin cream cold foam. Once it starts to get a little bit colder outside in the mornings, I am gonna switch to like a hotter drink. These Kosas wet sticks has been my thing. Literally are butter on my lips. Ooh. Okay, let's go get all my uniform. Okay, here's the uniform of the day. I came here for love. I'm gonna put in my elephant and piggy dangly earrings. I'm kind of feeling purple bows today. Go crazy guys. I think I'm gonna do my salt and stone perfume. Eos lotion for my legs. It smells like pomegranates. Rings on. Let's go pick out my fun socks of the day. Hmm. If I do these new Spongebob and Patrick ones, compare them with my Adidas gazelles to match my purple bows. How cute. Got my backpack and I'm headed out. Thanks for getting out of me. Bye guys. Taco looking extra fat this morning. <laughs> Make it too, make it like even if you're not confident, no one's gonna know that you're not confident if you act like you are. So just so literally just fake being confident, and you already gain some confidence right, right then and there. Wear whatever you want to wear. I always see videos being like, oh, this is what you should wear, this is what you shouldn't wear. No, when it's your first time hanging out with a boy literally wear whatever you feel you're most confident in if that's a hoodie and sweatpants wear a hoodie and sweatpants if that's a that's a pair of leggings and a tank top wear a pair of leggings and a tank top point is there's no rule as to what you should and shouldn't wear i just think that you should wear whatever you feel the most confident in and it's always awkward if you're like hugging yourself because you feel uncomfortable in your clothes or anything like that so just Wear whatever you want to wear. The other thing is, regarding makeup, people are always like, oh, wear natural makeup. Like, guys don't like girls who wear too much makeup. Okay, I don't care what guys think. I don't care what they like and what they don't like. I think you should wear whatever makeup you feel comfortable in. If that's no makeup whatsoever, wear, wear no makeup whatsoever. If that's a natural face, wear a natural face. If it's a full beat, wear a full beat. Wear whatever you feel your best in. Okay, this one I think is really important. A lot of guys will meet a girl for the first time and be like, oh, she's nothing like she was over FaceTime or over text or something like that. I don't know why they say that. The point is, if you have acted a certain way, which is hopefully like your full authentic self over text, or over FaceTime, you need to act the exact same way. Because if not, you're most likely gonna get called fake in the group chat, you're most likely gonna get made fun of. Um, just be yourself, and no one likes fake people. Say hey, or hug him, or dab him up or something, but the point is don't make the introduction awkward, because that's the way you're starting it off. You don't wanna start it off awkward, because then what if it just becomes awkward and then it's all awkward, like, sure you kind of know what you're gonna do when you see him like know if you're gonna hug him know if you're gonna like 
dab him up, you know, if you're gonna, like, just be like, hey, like, just know what you're gonna do. This all depends on, like, where y'all are hanging out. If you guys are hanging out at his house, just follow him, like, wherever he takes you. If you're hanging out at your house, obviously, you're gonna guide him to where y'all are going. Going to, like, a place, like a restaurant, um, I'd say meet inside, and obviously when you see him, like, say hi, don't be rude, like, say hi. Um, he's probably gonna get up. If he's sitting down, he's probably gonna get up to say hello. Like, point is, again, don't make the introduction awkward. If he's, like, picking you up, that's what me and my boyfriend did for our first, like, unofficial date. Um, he's probably gonna open the car door for you. And you're gonna obviously say thank you, get in the car. I'm saying all this because I feel like people really overthink it to the max, so... I try and cover every single base. This hoodie is the cutest thing ever. It's from Alfred Heaton, and I'm obsessed with it. And it has pockets, too. One pocket, but I love the fact that it has pockets. Like, that makes me so happy. Anyways, that is all I have for you guys today. Let me know if you guys want part two. Let me know what other videos you guys would like to see from me. I love you guys always. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. It is me for my cousin's 18th birthday party. Party starts at 5.30 and it's 4.30 right now, so I have a good hour. Well, not really an hour to get ready because we still have to like, drive there and everything, but probably like 30 minutes. But oh my gosh, guys, I cannot believe it's the last day of winter. Like, yes, we got through it this year. And it wasn't even like a cold winter. Like, yes, some days were cold, but these last few weeks are just chef's kiss. It's literally been 30 degrees. And we're also going into September, the best month, because it's my birthday month. Like, my birthday is literally in 16 days. I'm so excited. I have my whole birthday wish list because I made it on Canva, so I can show you guys it. Maybe if your birthday's like coming up, it will give you ideas on what to get. Okay, obviously I'm super excited for OVX to come out. Like, it's coming out so soon. But tell me why I'm seeing all these rumors that Rudy Panko is going to be leaving. Which, that's JJ in the show. And, um, someone needs to confirm if that's true because he cannot leave. But I saw some rumor that he's going to be dying in this season. Anyway, speaking of TV shows, I've been obsessed with The Rookie. But the whole of season 6 isn't in Australia yet. There's only like one episode on like 7 plus. They're also filming season 7 which is super exciting. It's actually such a good TV show. Guys tomorrow I have my soccer grand final. It's literally going to be such a big day. Or like big morning. And it's also Father's Day tomorrow. So yeah this weekend is like jam packed. No because tell me why like this came off and now I can't even like screw it open. I guess we're just going to have to use my wax. Okay, I kind of just did my finishing touches off camera. But this is the final look I showed in my hair as well. But now I'm all ready. Bye, guys.